We are Charlie and Jameson, and we have created a video about the importance of treating people with disabilities with respect. In this video, you will hear about challenges people may face and the abilities of people with disabilities. Enjoy! Uh, I am James Turner. I'm the Independent Living Director at Southwest Idaho Center for Independent Living called LINK, which does equal rights for people with disabilities. People who aren't people with disabilities have a hard time relating to them, it seems, or they sometimes feel uncomfortable in their presence, more understanding of people with disabilities. And it's such a broad thing that, um, you know, there's a lot of, it's this, this population of people, this minority, quote unquote, doesn't know age, doesn't know race, doesn't know gender, doesn't know social economic status, it can happen to anybody. And, you know, we have people with disabilities who are people with disabilities since birth, people with disabilities who have late onset disabilities. Um, so because, again, because the community is so rich and diverse, um, you know, I, I, I think in a real broad sense, just be more considerate of people with disabilities. Include them, don't be afraid of them. Um, I don't know, just start seeing them as just people. Hi, my name is Jen, and <coughs> I have short stature. And this is my daughter, Grace, who's nine years old, and she does not have short stature. <laughs> well, when I was 16, I had cancer, and so I had to get my leg cut off. I'm the C56 quadriplegic. I broke my neck and my back in a car accident several years ago. Um, Jacob had a hemispherectomy operation when he was two years old that disconnected the left side of his brain from the right side of his brain. So he does everything that most people do with a whole brain with half a brain. Some of the challenges I face include things like reaching the kitchen sink, to driving, to simply getting into the doors of a business, um, whether or not I'm walking on my feet or if I'm using my motorized scooter behind me. Really the challenges I deal with are attitude, um, folks have a hard time believing that someone as small as me can have a daughter who is this big. <laughs> and so I get a lot of questions, I get a lot of challenges. Um, it's not all bad, it's just stuff I gotta work around. The challenges for me are um, sometimes my my stump, that's what you call the part of my leg that's left, hurts, and so it hurts to wear my leg, and there's things I need to do um, that I can only do with my leg on, like mowing my lawn, or carrying groceries, or vacuuming, it's really hard to vacuum like this. So those are some, some challenges. When I, when I ski or I do triathlons, I don't wear my leg at all, so then I look really unusual because I, when I ride my bike, I just have one pedal and I run on like uh, more on crutches um, and I just get more light. Like, Everything challenges. Well, since I'm a quadriplegic, I'm paralyzed from my shoulders down. So um, getting up and moving around is not possible for me, unfortunately. So I require a lot of help. Um, I have really good friends and family that come over. And so my daily challenges are the small ones, let's say, are met by some assistance. So I have help getting in and out of bed and getting dressed and cleaning my house and that kind of stuff. So for those daily challenges, I meet them that way. Other challenges, um, intellectually, I study, I learn, I have figured English as a second language for the College of Western Idaho. So I, I keep busy. Um, daily challenges for me are getting to the bus on time, um, making sure I didn't forget uh, bus money or taking care of my dog or those kinds of things. So I think that my daily challenges is after the obvious are pretty much everything else. Challenges today mostly involve the right side of his body and the use of his extremities, his arm and his leg primarily. So he, ch he has challenges with doing things with one hand that most people do with two hands. So he has lots of things that he's figured out different ways to do um, that he can do with one hand that most people take two hands to do. So he's very uh, 
creative about the way he approaches problems and he's able to do a lot of things with one hand that, that we uh, are still amazed at some, at times. Say attitudes, changing attitudes, having, and both on the people with disabilities and the general public to work with each other. You know, treat each other as human beings. Um, don't try to be overbearing in your help. Ask the person what they could use help with, or can I give you a hand before helping help me? Politely let them ask me and engage in a dialogue with me. I have a child. I understand. <laughs> She has stared at other people who were different before, and I've then turned really embarrassed because it's like, ah, oh, shoot, I... Uh. I understand being kind of embarrassed, but they're not going to learn if, you, if I don't get the opportunity to at least say hello. Um, so that's something, that's something that's definitely very changeable. Don't park in a handicapped parking spot, even if you're just going to be there for a minute. UPS... And uh, FedEx are really bad about that. They think it's a loading zone. Um, they're willing to help somebody, but they may not want help. So, you know, you can always say, hey, can I give you a hand? And sometimes I'll, I will say, sure, could you carry this for me? Like when I go to Bogus Basin, I don't warm my leg. And, and when I'm getting my food, um, I, it's kind of hard to carry a tray, you know, like this. So if somebody offers, I'm like, sure. I mean, I can manage if nobody offers, but it's nice. Um, don't use the handicap stall unless you really have to, because I've uh, had friends that have actually had accidents because they couldn't get into the bathroom fast enough. So those are some things to, to think about, and it's never wrong to ask a question. You know, if, you, if you're curious about something, you can do it in a respectful way, like, excuse me, do you mind if I ask you what happened? And most people are very happy to answer your questions, because most people know that they look different. <laughs> Those are some good pointers to remember when you're with people that are different than you. So. Um, I think people can assist just by being themselves. And um, if I, I'm going toward a door and I'm opening it and I'm being successful, just watch. Maybe, you know, okay, there's a funny joke. It says, hire the handicapped. They're fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> it may not be necessarily politically correct, but still, still funny. And um, you know, I, I, it took me, it took me a very long time to learn how to open a door by myself in a wheelchair. And so, um, oftentimes I can't do it. So other people can help by, by if they see me struggling because I always like to try everything that I'm going to do. And if they see me struggling, to say, hey, can I give you a hand? I think that that's probably the best, and the biggest help that people can give. I don't know that Jacob needs a lot of help. Um, any more than you would need help with something, or I would need help with something. Like I said, he's pretty, he approaches problems creatively, just like you or I would. If, uh, you know, if you'd, if you'd broken your left hand and you couldn't use it for a while, you'd have to figure out how to do a lot of things with one hand, and you'd do that for a short amount of time, and the only difference is that Jacob has to do that every day. So you would like everybody to perceive him like a normal person. Exactly. And that's that's how he's perceived at school and his friends and family all perceive him as a normal person. And since I don't know where mine are, then I might need to be cheese. Oh, there's the rolled doll. And what do you not have in the world? Oui, je viens le français. J'aime bien la saveur de le français dans ma bouche. Il faut, il faut, euh, il faut habiter le français ici dans ma cœur et c'est dans ma cité et c'est dans la loi. 
It's not like a man, I just love it. I just love it. French in my mouth, in my heart, in my mouth. Jen and I am able to be a good parent to my daughter. Hi. Okay. I am able. That's not. Okay. I am able. You are able. Please help us eliminate obstacles in the daily life of people with disabilities. Thank you.